Okay, so I'm meeting up with the guys down down in Devon. I, I got held back at work yesterday, so I'm gonna try and catch them this morning. So uh, got all my stuff packed. I just need to get on the bike and get going. Matthew, not sure where you are mate, uh, bike did alright, first real sort of trip I've done in it really I guess, so um, yeah, all good, I've just got to wait for the, uh, the the Australian. So Matthew's arrived, welcome to Sainsbury Matthew, where are we camping? In a muddy field, what are we doing? Rubbing ourselves down with bacon, then shooting over to Stonehenge naked. So we've got the essentials, beer, water for wiping out, washing our bottoms, and Luxade for the engine. So we're all set to go. We're only five miles away from Stonehenge, so let's hopefully be able to camp there tonight. So fingers crossed. Okay, so what's the story, mate? Um, so uh, Matt's brought us down this road, and uh, some big stones over that way somewhere else in there. What's the story? What's wrong with this road? Well, um, the road's closed, but shh, don't tell anybody. And it's gravel as well. It's proper closed, isn't it? It's proper closed, mate, but not to bikers, you know. It's all right. What was that? Matt? Oh my God, you've turned into Mr. Pants Man. Mr. Pants Man. Quick, save us from the security, Matthew. How you doing, Ginger? Cooking bacon. Oh, I love a bit of bacon, man. So here we are. Uh, where are we anyway? Uh, Lundis, apparently, is the name of the place. Uh, night of wild camping uh, under a bush, and then it started to piss down. So we got out of there about half past five. Half oh, five, yeah. Half past five this morning. So yeah, we're on our way to uh, Shepherd's Retreat. Uh, going to keep there the night, and then uh, yeah, obviously we're going to catch up with uh, Nathan and do the posty run. Uh, the vegan's going to be joining us later on. Today, if he gets out of bed. Certain years. <laughs> He's walking. <laughs> Random pass of light, don't worry about that. <laughs> it's not often Jay's lost for words. At least it's, it's not lost for words. At least it's not a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> How we miss Morocco. Oh, mate. So, we're Morocco. on the big bikes today, as you already know. Uh, so, we've got that. Um, what do you call that? Yamaha 660? XT660. XT660 in a fine poo colour. That's called dog poo. And obviously we've got the... Uh...
BMW K75S. It's the triple, the smooth one. It's slightly faster than my single, I have to say. <laughs> Yours is proper slow, man. <laughs> He's just cruising. So we thought we'd bring out the big bikes and uh, you know hit the speed limits, and then first thing we get out, the first day Jay goes, oh, should we just sit at 60? So she, She's an old tractor, mine. She doesn't like going fast. It doesn't like going around corners either. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah. Um, on to the Morning next part, brew, which is good. Cheers, Costa. He even said uh, hello, gents. Hello, gents. Hello, gents. Do we say hello, gents? Do we? No, we don't say hello, gents. So hello, everybody, including toasters. Hello, gender neutral gay people, gingers, black people, white people, Asian people, Chinese people, LGBT crowd. Um, you can't put that bit on the video. But you, and toasters, the ones that haven't made up their mind yet. The what? Toasters? Toasters, yeah. <laughs> they haven't made up their mind yet, so... Yeah, as you can see since we last seen us, we've got some beers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're in disguise. Uh, trying to look cool as uh, Teapot One. Trying to look as cool as him, but... no, nah, he can't pull it off like him, eh? He's, he's a pretty cool dude, so... Uh, yeah. It's all good. And it's supposed to be raining, and it isn't raining, which is good. No, no. Don't, don't ever follow your iPhone uh, weather reports, because it just... It, it's there to put fear into you, to, for you not to do anything, not to go anywhere, yeah. and uh, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been lovely. It's been a few spots around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been good as gold. It so. is only half seven, though, isn't it? I can't see it. Block half seven. Half right, seven. So it's um, early doors still. Another hundred odd miles to go. Sweet. So cheers. Yeah. Che so um, we ended up on some back roads. And uh, yeah, they were. Uh, what are they? Um, great dirt, dirt roads. roads. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it on my bike. Perfect. The uh, the, the the Sport K Series three cylinder BMW, however, not quite so favourable on these roads. <laughs> nah, it doesn't like it at all. Uh, it's too much crap in the middle. Uh, but Jay's standing up and he's yahooing all the way along, so he's having a great time on his uh, poop Yamaha. But the, well, the colour of it, man, it's like poop. Mate, if Brown your colour was that, if your poo was that colour, I'd go to the doctor's. Well, that's that's a pug poop. A pug poop. A pug poop. And anyway, we're on. We're, we're, I don't know where we are. Oh, here we are. Oh. Here we are. That's supposed to be where we are. <laughs> <laughs> We've got no idea. Um, I might have to Lee, tick unpaved Lee, roads Lee, off because uh, yeah, the bike's not handling those roads too well. <laughs> it's fantastic, mate. Keep it unpaved roads are the best way. Definitely. Top bikes in. Yeah, you, 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 no, no, you're right, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're 40 miles out from our destination at the um, Shepherd's Retreat. Uh, it's not officially open, um, but we're going to be camping just uh, in the barn and stuff, uh, doing our social distancing and stuff like that. So we're all good for that. Uh, and then we're we'll catching up with the vegan, your, your favourite vegan, catching up with him. Yeah. And uh, Nathan, posty boy. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Hopefully he turns up. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he's got the right weekend. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a, yeah, he thought it was the weekend before. Uh, so yeah, if anyone knows Nathan, yeah, he's about as organised as a cat with a shit. <laughs> We're um, in the barn. It's absolutely peeing it down outside. You see that? So um, we're going to set up a camp in a barn. What more do you need, really? What more do you need? The boys? We got beer yet? Is it too early for a beer? It probably is actually, yeah. It's beer time. Yeah, it feels like about... It's beer time. For the homeless. <laughs> Join us. Get in quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's it>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
So we've got a special day happening today. Um, yeah. We're going to hang out with uh, Nathan Millward. Nathan Posty Bike Millward. Well, everyone knows him as Posty Boy, who rode his uh, Posty Bike all the way from Sydney to London. And then Posty from, uh, he went to Alaska as well, didn't he? Yep. Ship to America. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah, nice guy. Um, wrote some amazing books. The book is... Uh, the, the long journey, the long ride home. Awesome, awesome. Guy. And yeah. the American one, which is also a good read, is Running Towards, Towards Light. The light yeah, Can't mention it, it enough. Good, good, good book. Yeah, you buy book. one, you should buy two because the second one gives you a closure. Like you're hooked on the first one, so you need the second one to, to finish it off. And also, what's the third one? That this man here. Uh, yeah. The vegan, Chris Lloyd. <laughs> I uh, did all the what pictures did by the numbers. The Adventures of Dorothy, yeah. Yeah, The Adventures of Dorothy, which is, um, is, is available to pre-order now, so do it, guys. So, there's the bike named after... No, the bike that the shop is named after. And uh, also Dorothy, which also, any second now, is going to start in The Amazing Adventures of Dorothy. The book, which is on its way, I get it printed in Belgium, and it's, I think it's in Germany now. So it should be here Monday, Tuesday next week, and then they'll, they'll go out. So got a thousand copies of that coming so that's Dorothy star of Amazing Adventures of Dorothy and then we've got Dorothy and her friends Posty Bambi Bandidos we've got uh, let's spin this around Susie uh, the bike with no name we have got Lucy who's a little bit uh, bent and twisted but she still she still goes good uh, Holly and uh, Heidi just to say, these bikes aren't stored here overnight, so please don't come here and try and pinch them because they're not be here. Um, so this is basically a place for me to bring people. There's plenty of parking outside. There's a car park for people to take a spin around uh, to get used to the bikes. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we'll take off. We've got some great roads around here, coastal roads and things like that. So this is kind of a meet and greet center. So obviously I've got my catering facilities. It's almost like the BMW off-road skills score, but with a... But with a traditional Indian carpet um, also I'm thinking it's every Saturday morning this is this is quite nice I think it gives people a destination to ride out to whether it's a two hours away I mean come down the A39 through a Linton Paul you know great ride and I think I'll be here every Saturday morning I think that's my intention just with some coffees and teas come along let's hang out chill out talk bollocks about bikes and I, hopefully I'll have some more homemade cake so that's it Dem Dorothy Speed Shop T-shirts are coming. Stickers are coming. Oh, wait a minute. Stickers, look at these. Bumper stickers. So they came back in time. So we've got Dorothy's uh, Speed Shop bumper stickers, which I'll be putting online if anybody, anybody wants to, to uh, buy a bumper sticker for a panty or, or a bumper, I guess. So there she is. There's Dorothy. I've got her back all together. Uh, I, can't, I still can't get the, uh, the broken uh, seat mount bolt out, but... Uh, Three of the four bolts seem to be holding her quite steady, so she'll do for now. Uh, she's not to be ridden today, but all the rest are, are ready to go. So that's it. The, the schedule's going up later today, and um, I'm also going to have some like ride your own bike day adventures, meeting Bridgewater off the M5, and I'll, I'll guide people on some of the best roads, uh, tarmac roads in North Devon, and then bring you back to Bridgewater at the end of the day. That's going to be every Wednesday. And then I'm thinking Friday's going to be Posty Bike Friday. So every Friday there's going to be uh, ride outs on the posties. Uh, and maybe a Saturday afternoon ride out once we've had tea and coffee and stuff. Uh, any groups want to come down, let me know. I can, I can host six people. Uh, and if you bring six, I'll give one free. So pay for five, get six. I mean, that's pretty good. I can, do it. I can cut the day to whatever suits you, to, 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 to whatever suits. So, yeah, just give us a shout. I've got days in the diary. I've got bikes. I've got everything. I need. Uh, so that's it. All right, take it easy. Ladies, bye. Susie, no name. Lucy. Athena. Heidi. Heidi. I like Heidi. Heidi was my first true love, but I was I was beaten to the to this one, so I wasn't allowed Heidi. But uh, yes. Oh, you can see this. Yeah, but I'm going to get it back. Heidi always <laughs> comes back.
we're in Devon, uh, just outside Ilford Coombe. We've been out posty bike riding. We've had um, one crash, uh, <laughs> but five successful non-crashes. Uh, and we've had a good day, we had a bit of rain, and uh, everyone's lived to tell the tale of posty bike adventures, which you can also come on uh, if you go to www.thegarbagerun.com uh, and then you can book and come on your own posty bike adventure. Thank you. Let's have a look at that job, Jack. We, we only laughed a little bit. <laughs> All the noise it made when it fell over. Oh, that was a sad noise. <laughs> the rear view. This will be Matthew's view on the way back tomorrow down the motorway. <laughs> it's, it's silly though, like it ain't going anywhere. 